quick bobbin lace um, tutorial for winding bobbins. Here are what we want. We've got two bobbins that are, oops, oops, there's the other one. Okay, they are connected by a single thread. Um, so what we're gonna do is we are going to pull one, two, three, four yard, approximately four yards in this group. Okay, so don't worry. Four yards of thread, and we're going to take one bobbin. Let me grab the, take that off. There we go. And we are going to start wrapping. Um, for those who are watching that are actual bobbin lacers, number one, you probably have a bobbin winder for your lace. Number two, you would not be using cotton floss. Um, I'm getting ready to teach a class, and our first project uses cotton floss. So I'm going to just keep going round and 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 some more round and round and round and round and round. And I just keep going round until I get most of this that I have pulled off of here. Notice I did not cut. You're not going to cut. You're going to put at least three to four yards of thread on to your bobbin. Um, there we go. Let's see if I can do this. Round and 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 round. I know it's getting repetitive, but we're almost there. Okay. So, once I get to the point where I want to be, I will take my fingers, I will loop around my fingers and create a, a, you know, a loop with a cross, and I will put it over, and voila, we have now locked our thread down to our, where are we? So, we have locked our thread to our bobbin, hopefully. Then we pull another four yards, you know, off the th off our skein of thread. Two, three, four. Okay. Um, this for this project, I'm using a Madeira. Um, I like Madeira flosses; they're very shiny. Um, I generally will, when I'm, you know, I use it mostly for embroidery, but in this case, since I'm teaching, uh, let an easy class, this is how we're going to do it. So now, um, ideally you might want to do it opposite if you remember, but I'm going to do, just do it the same because that's how I am. Okay, and so round and round and round and round and round. Um, and so you just keep going around until you're done. And I'll show you how to do that. Once I'm done with this batch, I will show you how to do that little loop. Um, and just do it as often as you can so that you can, you know, I mean... If you get really seriously into bobbin lace, you will you will probably want to invest in a bobbin winder. Um, I had a friend who made a bobbin winder uh, using a um, a little pipe, like a piece of uh, PVC that she cut, and put it fit it to her bobbin winder on her sewing machine. Um, I've also seen people do bobbin winders on a drill, make a bobbin winder on a drill. So there are all kinds of different ways of making an easy bobbin winder. But if you don't do a lot, I mean, I do have a bobbin winder, I guess. I could have used to wind all these, but I didn't want to have to go pull it out and wind and do all that because it's a pain. Okay. So now I am again at where I want to be. See, I've got my two bobbins. I'm going to kind of 
put them a little closer so you can see them together. See two bobbins that are connected. I'm going to take this one, reel it out a little bit, twist to make a nice little loop, and lock it down again. Uh, so let me show that again because I want to make sure everybody gets this. Okay, is I have taken it, twisted so that it, oh, there we go, twisted it and over and pull. So there it is. Now I can, that way I can hold it like this. It can hang. That's what you want it to be able to do. Hang and then when you need to, you twist and you make more room in your on your bobbin. Okay, so that was just a quick tutorial on lacing a bobbin or well winding a bobbin for lace for bobbin lace. Thank you.